episode 44 of Folk from the Boat. As you can see, this week it's no more nice boater and I've cracked out the heavy tools and, well, things aren't going incredibly well with the painting. You can see some nice sort of grey paint here which is over the bit of sanding I've done with my evil angle grinder. <clears throat> However, it is also raining and probably far too soon so this could be some work that gets done again tomorrow. I love that on painting videos you always see someone perfectly painting the side of their boat and you don't see all the prep that's gone into it before, which they tell you about, but by that time, you know, they're over the trauma. Anyway, full trauma going on now, <laughs> but it's, it's, not, it's not that bad. And um, yeah, and exciting things because my dad is here. So we're going to do a song together and I think he might have brought a special instrument for, uh, for us to play with today. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, thanks for bringing your banjo, Dad. No problem. We're we're going to uh, we're going to sing a song called "The Old Wife's Lament," and it's a song from Sunderland, which uh, we have family. We certainly do. Yeah, yeah. going yeah. back to that. So my dad yeah. is a, a Chilton, yeah. aren't you? Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm a Chilton. Yeah, yes. and there's a lot yeah. of Chilterns in Sunderland. In fact, yeah. Chilterns I also discovered um, came over to America on the Mayflower. Yes, how yeah. many? A couple, I think. A couple. Yeah, well, I that's think good. That's, I think. <laughs> so there could be more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've met some American Chilterns. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's a continuance on both sides. But um, but yeah, we're from. Well, your our family's background goes back to Sunderland, where mm. we mm. have families in shipping, really, because Sunderland was a big site for building ships. Was one of its main industries. So Sunderland's on the northeast of England, and it's on a river called the Ware, and the Ware comes out into the sea at Sunderland. And the big industries there were shipbuilding and coal, a lot of coal mining going on. And this song is... The, the, the coal mining went right under the sea for many miles. Did it? Yes. So you'd find lots of housewives going down to the beach and picking up coal and bringing them back. And okay. In fact, I think my, my grandmother, who I never knew, she died before I was born, they used to do that, and they lived in Grangetown. Oh, yeah. Which is a suburb of Sunderland. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. 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 This, um, this song is about the Keelmen, and you know what Keelmen, Keelmen did? Um, it must be something to do with a keel. Yeah, they... Um, what they, they were a go-between in terms of transport, so they were taking the coal, so coal was being mined further up river right. and, you know, out into the countryside and that would get loaded onto boats and keelmen would row it into Sunderland right. where you could have larger ships because the river was larger then. So there were suppliers. Yeah, so they, they, would, they would row it down and then they'd load it onto the ships and yeah. the ships could take it off yeah. to London or wherever it was, right. was going. And keelmen are mentioned a lot in folk song. It seems to have been a real sort of pride. <laughs> the, uh, the lads who were yeah. rowing the yeah. keelboats yeah. seem yeah. to have... Well, in this song, they, they are canny, smart keelmen were the pride of old Sunderland. Yes. So, yeah. And they're, um, what this song mourns, the old wife's lament, she's mourning... The, the loss of the industry because of the trains. Right. So yeah. trains came, and in fact, one line from the second verse says, no, from the first, third verse, sorry, they tried with their power to pull the trucks over. So the kill men obviously really didn't want no. their livelihoods to be taken no. away, and they went to, to the extent of trying to pull the trains over to, to right. sabotage yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. right. Um, naughty. Yes, yes, that's naughty. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I've, I've got this, um, as you may know, I love languages, singing things in the right language. Yes. And uh, so I've got myself a Mackham dictionary. Right. Which is, you know, Mackham's the dialect of sentiment. Right. You see, we don't, we don't really speak Mackham, do we? No. <laughs> so one word that comes up a lot, which I love, is canny. Right, yes, canny, yes. Yeah, what does yes. canny mean? Is it small? No, 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 it's nice. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, like, yeah. but it gets used all the time, like, our canny lads just right. means our, okay. our nice lads, yeah. pleasant, good. Yeah. It doesn't, it almost has no meaning, but it's positive, yeah. if you see what I mean. Yeah. It's a good yeah. thing. It's a good thing, yeah, to, yeah. Be, to be canny. So I thought I'd yeah. test you out on this, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> 
on some of the phrases here. This is a fantastic thing. Um, the the Macken Dictionary, made by... I'm going to be reading that. Who's Who created it? In order to promote Paul Swinney, in order to promote education, not of the dialect, mm. but although I think... I mean, I think it's incredibly important to preserve it, but the proceeds from the book, you see, go to um, helping out people who who haven't got access to education right. up in Sunderland. Um, so... It is different now. Well, it, it's... In terms of get, getting, a like, a, a university education and being able to get a well-paid job, they're, mm. they're not as far ahead as some places, so... They, okay. they miss out a bit, yeah. Okay, I've, I've found some, some words here. Can I test you on Kerry? What's a, what's a Kerry? Kerry? I have no idea. It's a spicy cuisine originating in Asia. Really? Oh, you mean... <laughs> <laughs> you mean a curry? And it's, it it's gives not a very a, good dictionary, this. <laughs> it's Macken. They say Kerry. So it gives an example here and it says, Do you want Kerry sauce on your chips flour? Uh, Go on, let's pick out another one. Yes. It's good fun, this. Mm -hmm. So... Um, ah, no, that's, that one's rude. Uh, <laughs> it's not too rude. Okay. Um, film. What's a film? Film. Uh, uh, it's feeding somebody up. Oh no, that's that's a good answer. Mm -hmm. He took that last to the pictures last night, but I'm not sure how much of the film they watched. Oh. <laughs> Let's find one that's not mm. not uh, that's not, that's more about pronunciation in a way, isn't it? Mm. Uh, Oh, that's nice. Ket. Ket are little pieces of sugar-based confectionery. If you've eaten all that ket before your tea, there'll be a hell on mind. I think I got that almost right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I like these. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to present you with a Meccan oh, nice. dictionary Mac nice, nice, to, uh, yes, yes. to leaf through. And it's pronounced Meccan, not Meccan. Oh, is it? I don't there know. There we go. I can't mm. even say that. Yeah. I, I have a friend from uh, Newcastle. So, uh -huh. so I'm sure. Oh, that's Geordie. Yeah. It is? Oh, so that's different? Yeah. Geordie. Yeah. 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 As different as you yeah. probably like to make it. It'd be one of those things where, you know, if, if you're in France and you're from up there, we're all from the same place, but when you're close by, you probably can't stand each other, right. you know, in a, in a good... It's in, amazing what I don't know about way. my ancestors. <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's get to it with yes. the, the old wife's lament. Indeed. Mad Kiona, the pro 